Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and in today's video, we are doing a review on the long awaited Moss Pole Alternative. If you follow my Instagram, you would have seen that I purchased a Moss Pole Alternative from Grow Tropicals quite recently. Um, I got this order, I'd say, about four months ago. And a lot of people were so interested in this product because it's very it's new to the market, but it's it's quite unusual and we do like our plant accessories. Um so I wanted to just give it a go. It was a very impromptu purchase from me because I normally like to see how it works for other people first before I obviously make my purchase, but it was ten pounds and I needed a moss pole quickly and I was making an order. So I added it to my basket. And I've been using it from day one. So this moss pole is called Kratister, I think. I'll put the name on the screen. Um, it's made from the residue of potato peel and elephant grass um, from a factory in the Netherlands. It's a fully biodegradable product. It's got no um, PVC in it, which you get in cocoa coir and moss poles, so no plastic. Um, and it's, it's obviously with it being from Europe, the airmails apparently are lower, so it's like eco-friendly in that sense. And I haven't looked into that side of it, but the product itself is fully biodegradable, which I love. Um, I've also heard that because it's a very bark-like texture, your plants love it. So when I heard that, I I was like, let's just give it a go. Um, and when I say your plants love it, I cannot stress enough my... I have it on one plant and my plant like stuck itself to it, like not just roots, actual, the plant was like, and I've never, I would, I never expected that result. It wasn't necessarily a good result. So I've been trying to navigate around how to deal with that. But if I've kept videos or that archived on my um, Instagram stories, I'll put them over the screen. Um, but essentially where the new, um, the new leaf was growing in the stem of the plant, that had sucked itself to the the moss pole alternative and it had literally just a deer to it and that was days like that literally took days um so i i didn't know what to do i did i was like i obviously don't want this to happen what can i put in between it to protect it first thing i thought was my husband's sock so i got a clean sock and i, I just kept it separate um i took that out once the plant started growing higher so that actual new leaf was coming away um, from the pole and I've had new leaf since and it's not happened again so that is good but I have kept a close eye on it. In terms of the roots I had one um, the new aerial root stick to it. I I took that off in, by mistake so it did adhere to it really quickly but since these new aerial roots have come in in the last couple of weeks and they are stuck. They're stuck to it. So because this is a new, this part, part of the plant is new and the aerial roots are new and establishing themselves to the pole, I expect the next leaf after the one that's unfurling now to have some sort of um, positive impact. So hopefully bigger or more fenestrations. Um, and we will be able to test that because these plants that I have, my elbow variegated monstera, they're growing so quickly. So quickly, I think they don't have time to grow big. That's my like logic behind it. Um, but this one that's just come through is, I think, the last of the winter growth. It's got no fenestrations. So the next one, with all these roots being on the pole, I am hoping is bigger and is bringing back the secondary fenestrations. Um, but my initial thoughts on this product are brilliant. I really love it. So inexpensive as well. Um, I don't know about you guys, but my my plants have never adhered to cocoa coir, so the, the fake moss poles. Um, I've had some small moss poles before, keeping them wet, you know, I that's not been in my kind of like, I've not been able to keep up with that. But I've not really had success with that either. My moss poles or cocoa coir poles in my situation have been solely for support. And I know your plants don't need it because we all talk about my friend Lily's plant collection is outstanding. She doesn't use any moss pole. 
any any support anything and her plants are huge and they grow big they do have a wall to kind of support and the the roots are kind of you know finding the way on the wall so I believe that's why they're getting bigger but she hasn't had anything like any support so I I know you can just prop them up on the wall do you want to you ruin your paintwork I don't know I don't mind but with these poles I will absolutely be buying more of them so a little bit about the product, um, it comes in two sizes, it comes in a small size and a medium size. The medium size is, um, I believe, up of the sizes on the screen, I think it's 74 centimetres. I bought the medium sized one. I have since seen Grow Tropicals um, have an extension, like a, a pole connector, um, I believe it's one ninety nine. I don't think that was there when I bought it before, but... Um, I bought the only available product at the time, so maybe I just didn't see it because it was greyed out. Um, but I'm at the point now where I need a, a pole connector. So I will be purchasing that and I will be extending this pole because it's so, it's working so well for this plant. Um, I do wonder how the, the pole, in my opinion, is very skinny. It's like, it's very thin, like the diameter of it. And the roots, and I'll show you with B-roll, the roots adhere to it and then they're not on it anymore obviously because they've just extended past the, the the kind of diameter of the pole i wonder what impact that has on the plant's growth and it you know maturing more whether it's it's initially adhered to it and stuck to it that's all it needs to you know have that support to grow bigger and better or whether the whole root needs to be there tell me your thoughts i'm not sure to be honest on that um but yeah, the product comes in two sizes at the moment. I've given my feedback to Grow Tropicals. Um, I think they they already knew it would be like a very, very good product. And then it's not exclusive to Grow Tropicals. Um, my local garden centre, Dean's Garden Centre, stock them. And I have seen one other place as well. But I mean, Grow Tropicals is a, a small run business. They're really great. So I would have no qualms and buying my, all of mine from there uh, moving forwards um but yeah my feedback as a lot of people have been really asking for like reviews on this is i love it and i want them in all my plants um the the support it gives because it's hollow and lightweight it's not it's not like a heavy moss pole where it kind of like is able to pull your plants like stem and you know really give it that support that's the only negative for me that i can think of at the moment um because my my poles at the moment are heavy and weighty and they can bring a plant up so i don't know how you would navigate around that um i think if your plants are that heavy it's got the depth of the pot so you'd put the pole further down but my my plant behind me the one that uses this pole has that depth in the pot and i also have to kind of like it's not it doesn't hold it back you know into position it's it's kind of still the plant's still quite top heavy but other than that i love it i really love it so i hope this answers your questions if you do have any further questions or want any more content on it so like imagery or you know how you kind of like use this plant whatever just ask me down below and I'll get back to you. The only thing I haven't covered is how you kind of attach your plant to it. They do come with um, like little Kirby grip kind of clips um, and they've got holes in there. I didn't get that little packet with mine. So I didn't know that's what they came with. It was only when I bought one of these for my friend from Dean's Garden Centre. I saw that packet on it and I was like, oh, that's how you attach your plant. Um, but I wouldn't use that anyway. I use the Velcro because I like to train it and you know tighten that velcro or just basic string so yeah if you do have any further questions just let me know down below and i will see you next week bye